What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mariah Perry, and you are watching Move In Vlog number three. If you guys haven't checked out two and one, make sure you guys check the link in my description box so you guys can watch those videos. I'm talking kind of crazy because I have my retainer in, but I did want to come in and introduce a video. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I just moved out of my parents' house at 24, and I will have more videos of the process of me moving, getting situated in my apartment, and I do want to do a video on how I was able to afford moving out. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn those post notification bells on so you guys don't miss another video. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below so I know that you guys are enjoying this moving series. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Today is Sunday and I'm getting ready to go inside of Target to get some things that I need for the apartment. So let's go. Y'all, I love going to Target. This trip was mainly to get pots and pans. I saw that they had a toaster on sale as well. However, I could not find it in store, but it did say on the app that the toaster was on sale. This Brita comes in handy, so I don't have to keep getting water bottles every time I want water. And yeah, it was a really quick trip. These pots and pans were on sale for $50, so y'all know how to grab those. And I got a slipper. I'm gonna show y'all everything later. But I am back from Target. I also stopped by Walmart. I wanted to show you guys everything that I got really quickly. Starting off with this pot set by Farbware. I wanted it in black, but they didn't have any more black. So this will have. And then I got, oops. I got some plates, a plate set. They need to be washed. Same thing with, oops, oops, oops. Same thing with this baking sheet that I got from Walmart. That plate set is from Target though. I also got a Brita, the number one water filter. So I won't have to keep buying um, bottled water. Also did a little bit more grocery shopping. Um, I got some eggs, bacon, some ground beef for tacos, some Roger Woods. Still have some leftover Olive Garden from yesterday. I got a Swiffer so I can mop the floor and oh, this is what I got. I got some cute little shoes. Let me show y'all over here. I don't know, just a simple pair of comfortable shoes for work this week from Target. And I also got this drawer set until I purchase a dresser. This will hold my items that don't belong on hang. So that's about it, y'all. I really wanna do a video talking about moving, moving expenses, especially for first time movers. Um, so y'all stay tuned for that. That's something that I really, really want to do. And hopefully I can ease some of y'all's minds or provide information um, to those who do want information about moving. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'm about to open this. We can do an unboxing, even though it's pretty self-explanatory. I wish I could have got the black one, y'all. I really like the blue. So this came with some utensils. Um, my lovely friend Danny actually purchased some utensils for me, but this came with it, so we have some extra utensils. All that is gonna have to be washed. Okay. Oops. This is a very small. What am I going to put in this? I mean, I guess it's cute. For reference, this is how big it is. 
I was not expecting this to be this small, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> These are the tiniest pots I've ever seen. But they will make do. Cute little saucepan. Make my pancakes and eggs and saute some vegetables. Y'all, my desk is finally here. I just got off of work and I got a notification that my desk was delivered. I'm probably not gonna set it up right now, but I do want to bring it in. But I will show you guys me trying to put it together. If not showing you guys how I put it together, I'll at least show you guys the final product. I feel like I've done a lot of montages during this vlog, so I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like at the end. But here's a picture of it. It shouldn't take too long. I hope it doesn't take too long. For now, I'm gonna put it here. Um, I guess until I get a couch. I don't know, it might stay here, it might not, but for now, I'm gonna put it right here. Popping in to give some context. The next clips you are about to see is me opening up some gifts that were purchased from my Amazon registry. I thought I was about to end the vlog here, but I decided not to. So I had to come in and tell you guys what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much again for purchasing off my registry. If you guys wanna check my registry out, it's linked in my description box below. I'm honestly grateful, thankful, appreciative of everything. I am so thankful to all my friends and family who have been contributing and supporting me. A towel set, a bed set, some things for the pantry. The pantry I don't have, but for snacks and things like that. I'm gonna probably put like pancake mix, and cereal in these containers here's a sponge holder that i'll put in my sink and then this was also delivered a few days ago that was also purchased from my registry from danny so i just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me and just helping out because this adult life ain't cheap okay it's not i honestly just want to put my sponge in the sink because um chelsea Purchase this from my registry. It's just a sponge holder. My hands are ashy, so ignore that. Um, this should be pretty simple to do. I just gotta make sure I put it on the right way. Mm. I mean, it's kind of crooked, but it gets the job done. Ta-da! So now, I can just put my sponges in there. Oh my gosh, so cute. As for this, let me wash my hands. Actually, I'm gonna wash these containers and I'll be right back. All right, so I washed this one because this is honestly the only one I'm gonna be using for now. I'll wash the rest later. They also came with these stickers and a white pen to write down what's inside. So for this container, I'm just gonna be putting pancake mix in there. So here's the mess that I made, but we have the extra pancake mix in a Ziploc bag. And then we are going to seal the pancake mix like this. I've never used these before y'all, but now's the time, okay? Target had a sale. Well, they still have a sale. I don't know if they'll have the sale by the time this video goes up, but this air fryer was originally $75, but I got it for $40, and I'm about to unbox it. 
I wanted it in mainly stainless steel, but they only have this color. Um, but it's not going to stay on the countertops anyway. Not because it doesn't match, but I just don't want a lot of stuff on the countertops. Ta-da! It also came with the cute recipe book. Breakfast, main dish, dessert, vegetables. What's up, y'all? Today is Tuesday? No, today's Wednesday. I have some news. Last week, I ordered a couch and it delivers tomorrow. I'm extremely excited because I am tired of only being in my bedroom on my bed. And I'm also tired of sitting at my desk. Finally, I will have a couch. Gabrielle was so kind to order me some pillows, some throw pillows for the couch. They are from Overstock. I'm about to open them right now so you guys can see what they look like. I'm currently on my lunch break. I'm gonna have to Swiffer later before the couch comes tomorrow so the floor will be clean where the couch will be sitting. Here they are. They were on sale and I didn't have to pay for them. Thank you, Gabrielle, if you're watching this. They're so big. A little thinner than expected. But they are still super soft. I don't know, maybe they'll expand over time because they were compressed, but it's looking like this is their full form. But they're soft. Wish they were a little bit more thick. Maybe like the size of two should be the size of one, but it'll still work and it'll look good on the couch. I wanted to get orange, not only because of Thanksgiving, but also wanted a pop of color. I'm trying to stay away from pinks. Cause y'all know pink is one of my favorite colors, literally. But um, this orange, I found it cute and I feel like it'll push me out of my comfort zone, but still allow the place to look nice. Good morning, y'all. The couch is being delivered today. I'm so excited. So what I am about to do right now is, my original plan was to sweep the entire living room um, floor, but then I was thinking, why would I do that if the delivery men are gonna come in here and have their dirty boots in here? And I'm just gonna be mad if the entire floor gets messed up after I mop it or Swiffer it. I decided that I'm going to be mopping in the area where the couch will be going so that later on this evening, I'll be able to mop the floor, the rest of the floor without it getting messed up. It's currently 9.35, I'm stop nine. They're currently at stop three. My delivery time is from 10 to 2 p.m., but um, I wanna go ahead and get this done so I can put my time into work because I am working from home today. I know that they will be coming in, so. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out and go on about my day into the game. Y'all, I was so upset because I got this Swiffer, right? Oh snap. I got this Swiffer and it came with this little baby one and I used all of the liquid. I mopped for the second time and I was already out of fluid. I went to Family Dollar and got this big one. It was about seven or eight dollars and it's the gang one so i'm hoping that it smells really good well that was easy literally nothing's in here i'm like dang did they even fill this up what was the point just like that i'm gonna change out the mopping pad on the bottom you literally just put it on there like that. And we are good to go. Yesterday I showed you guys that my couch will be going over here. Once I get a TV stand and a TV, it will be going on the other side, obviously. My plan is to get a TV 
during Black Friday. So we'll see how that goes. I'm praying I get a good deal on a TV on Black Friday. And I hope I'm not waiting just to miss out because apparently getting TVs is very hard during Black Friday. I don't got time to be fighting with these people in the store. I'm not fighting with nobody. So y'all can see kind of where I'm mopped at. And now I'm gonna get some work done until they arrive. Y'all, I think the couch is here. I would flip the camera around, but obviously y'all don't need to know where I live at. But I think the couch is here, so we'll see. The couch is here. They're getting ready to bring it up. Y'all, I have a couch. Okay, they literally left it looking like this. So I'm about to fix it and then show y'all. OMG. It looks so nice. I love it. I literally love the couch. It's small. I didn't even sit on it yet, but it just looks comfortable. I ordered it from Rooms To Go. I was debating if I wanted to order my couch from Wayfair, but the prices, like the prices were nice, but the reviews were just so wishy-washy. They're leaving right now. Y'all might hear the truck. The reviews were just so wishy-washy. I just couldn't, I couldn't vibe with it. So, rooms to go. The prices are up there, but the quality and the longevity of the couches, it just seemed like the most reasonable and smartest thing to do, which is why I ended up getting my couch from rooms to go. I am literally obsessed. <laughs> okay, let me get my tripod. So y'all can get a good angle of me sitting on it for the first time. Here is my couch. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm about to take naps on this thing. Woo! It's long. Y'all know I'm tall. Something, something, something. Anyway, it does got a couch. Good afternoon. This is Yes, this is she. Oh, I am. I'm also Contact Unit on today's delivery. Both of the customer service phone number. Just so you know, if you want to call us back, they'll be thank you for sharp rooms to go. Have a great rest of your day, okay? Thank you. You do the same. obsessed with my couch it's small it's cute it doesn't take up too much space and it came with the row pillows but can't be mad at extra throw pillows shout out to Gabrielle y'all saw these yesterday I just need to see y'all but it like it just fits like i really wanted an l-shaped couch but this will just have to do i mess with it a little bit of light and then the tv mm-hmm mm-hmm y'all get the vision <sighs> thank you jesus all right y'all today was a cleaning day if you guys hear my heat on right now it's because it's cold in here 
I never turn my heat on, but I had to this time. I got sweatpants and a long sleeve, and I'm still cold, so the heat had to come on. But back to what I was saying, today was a cleaning day. I cleaned my bathroom and my kitchen and also vacuumed out my bedroom. This would have to be my second time doing a deep clean to the apartment, but because I didn't get enough footage of me doing a deep clean in my second moving vlog, I wanted to show you guys basically what I did to the apartment when I cleaned it when I first moved in. Most of my cleaning products are from the Dollar Tree. Everything at Dollar Tree is $1.25 compared to the cleaning products that you'll find at Walmart or Target. You will definitely get what you pay for at Dollar Tree. I got a bathroom cleaner, kitchen cleaner, I got dish soap, I got Lysol wipes, the off-brand kind. Um, I think some of my products, my cleaning products are from Target, but I'm saying like if you need essentials for your apartment, please, 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 please go to Dollar Tree. Everything does not have to be an aesthetic and I'm learning that now that I am not in my parents' house. I mean, even the little scrub brush thing, like what? The only thing that I don't like about these cleaning products is that it does not lather when you're scrubbing. Like I like to see some suds, okay? But if I'm saving money, then forget the suds. It's doing the job, if you ask me, including the Windex. It's not even Windex. It's window cleaner, mirror cleaner. A dollar twenty-five. Dollar Tree. Go to Dollar Tree. I'm just here to say Dollar Tree is your friend, okay? Look, y'all see that? That off-brand Windex. It does the same thing as Windex, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. These days, I am big on saving. Y'all will see a $25 vacuum that I got in a second. Look at me cleaning with that Ajax. $1.25. Wash them dishes, girl. All right, I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of this montage. <laughs> for me to complete my Sunday cleaning I need to unbox the vacuum cleaner that I got yesterday from Walmart I'm currently in Walmart with my mom I would show y'all me but I look like a hot mess and I am getting a vacuum cleaner this one is on sale for $25 so if you guys need a vacuum cleaner Come to Walmart. You said you're looking for what now? Walk, 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 walk. Is this it down here? Nope, that's the tablecloth. Because I hate to say it, I have not vacuumed out my um, bedroom and my closet since I moved in and I've been here for a month now. And kind of nasty, but the previous renters had a dog. Mm -hmm and there's dog fur all over the carpet. I've been meaning to get a vacuum cleaner and I finally got one. I'm about to put it together and then show you guys once I'm done. I 
really do not want to read the instructions, but um, it looks like I might have to. This little cheap little vacuum. It doesn't even have the bristles on it. It's just gonna have to do, honey. The reviews say it's pretty good. All right, I might have to read the instructions. It says to open this latch and then place this inside. Uh -oh. Like that. And I need to figure out how to attach this. All right, that was pretty easy. Is there anything else that I need to do? First impressions of the vacuum. Um, it's giving little tykes vacuum for toddlers. It just feels really cheap, but we're gonna see if I like it. If not, I'm gonna return it and give it back to Walmart. <laughs> After turning it on for five seconds, the suction seems strong, but we'll see. Here's the amount of dust that I was able to collect with the vacuum. I think it has a very good suction and overall I give it an 8 out of 10. I just feel like the quality of the vacuum could be better but it does its job for sure. If you guys are interested in this vacuum I'm going to link it down in the description box below and make sure you guys also check out my Amazon storefront to see some other things that you guys might be interested in that you guys see in my apartment. I was able to get most of my cleaning out the way. Last thing that I need to do is Swiffer. Good morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning. I'm getting my life together to get ready for work. But I wanted to show you guys that I ended up installing some LED lights. I ordered them from Amazon. I thought they would make a cute touch to the kitchen. I will have the ones that I got from Amazon in my Amazon storefront, so make sure you guys check my description box. Everything that I purchased for my apartment will be linked in the description box, so make sure you guys check down there. So here's my kitchen. So I ended up putting them underneath the cabinets. They came with this remote, excuse my nails. So all I have to do is turn it on. I have them set for pink. Isn't it so cute, y'all? I'm obsessed. So the remote has these color settings and there's also an app. Here's what the app looks like. I can choose any color. Right now I have it set on pink, but you can move it around. You guys see? I'm just turning it around the wheel. Um, you can dim the brightness down, have it up. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys about the lights is these different settings. So there's pulsating red, different pulsating colors, um, pulsating seven colors. I think y'all know what LED lights look like. So that's it. Let me show y'all what pink looks like in the dark because pink is my color, baby. That is so cute, bro. All right, here it is. I was debating if I wanted to put the other strip on top of the cabinet or if I wanted to put it underneath the bar. I think I'm gonna do it underneath the bar for sure. 